Hello, everybody, and welcome to a new episode from Christina Climbs. As you may notice in the intro, I'm not alone climbing today. I have brought a friend with me. And the reason that I brought exactly this guy is because I got a tips about making a video where I compare climbing styles between taller and shorter climbers. So that's when I thought of Mats. He is a tall dude, at least a bit taller than I am. And I am a pretty short climber. So in today's video, we will be climbing five different boulders. And I will try to compare our climbing styles to see how we solve the problems differently. One thing that you need to know before the video starts is that I have been practicing all of the boulders before, uh, but Mats have never tried any of them. So for me, it was easier to climb them because I have already done them. But for Mats, it is the first time. And for me, it is the first time shooting this kind of comparison video and I hope the result isn't too chaotic and that you are able to see how we are working in different styles because of our size and climbing style. In this first boulder, we are mostly doing different things with our feet work. Here I go for a jump while Mats is reaching and having his feet, his feet in the same position. And here I go for a high uh, leg while he can also reach without moving his feet. And beside that we do more or less the same thing with our hands. This is a boulder that I really enjoyed and when it was new last week I did it like 10 times in a row just because I had so much fun working on it. And because Mats is a rope climber and he never goes bouldering, I wanted him to have a good experience. And I was pretty sure that he would like this uh, boulder. So that's why I wanted to include it. Because of all the attempts I did on this last time I was climbing, I got a really big wound at my knee because of the knee bar. So that wasn't something that I was looking forward to do again, but it went kind of all right anyway. And I just like all the flow and all the fun moves at this boulder. It makes me feel like I'm just playing around and having fun. And that's the kind of style that I like the most, I think. The second boulder, we didn't do that different. Uh, in the beginning, I did the jump while Mats did a more statical, flexible move. I could also have done that, but I prefer to jump if I can, because I think it's a lot of fun. And since I did the jump, I got in a little bit more awkward position in the next move. So Mats solved this middle part in a much better way than I did, at least I think. In this part we do the same thing, but here I go for a match while Mats is going for the intended beta, which is a cross under. And then I can do a press and go directly to the top, while Mats has to go through both of the top holes. This boulder is graded V4 and is one of the easier V4s at the gym and that is something that I appreciate because during the summer it was a lot of hard V4s that I was never able to even start. So the fact that they now have some of the easier bottom graded V4s makes a lot of difference for a lot of climbers because they now can experience that some of the V4s also can feel easy. And that's motivation, I think. I wasn't sure if I should just include the analytic part of the video or if I should also include our climbing. So I decided to include the climbing because I think it's also fun to see how we climb and how the boulder is flowing. 
and that's not so easy to see when I stop the videos as I do when I am trying to analyze it and break it up in parts. If I'm not wrong, I think Mats and I started to climb around the same time. But we can say that he started a little bit after me, because he will be mad if I say that he have climbed longer than I did and is wrong. But he is almost never bouldering, he is just sport climbing in a rope. And there he is uh, often projecting V6 routes, so he is super strong and super skilled and I have a lot to learn from climbing with him. So here we have the third boulder. It is uh, overhanging and dynamic with some long moves. So we are working kind of different through this uh, boulder. Here I have to get my feet loose while Mats is able to maintain in control and in balance. And here I go for a foot on the volume while Mats use the handhold. And to get to the top I put my leg super high up on the volume while Mats is having a more, I think, more stable and controlled foot placement to reach the top. I also wanted to try to make one of these comparison videos because I think it's a lot of fun to watch when other people are making the same content. And I also kind of feel that this kind of videos gives greater value to the people that are watching compared to just watching me climb alone. I'm still super surprised that so many people actually are watching my climbing videos with just me walking around at the gym, bouldering average kind of climbs. So I hope that this kind of content also will be something that you find interesting and cool to watch. So here we have boulder number four and I think this is the most interesting one. Here we have a different kind of start. I start with my hands crossed and my feet in the left hold while Mats goes straight to the right foothold and start without a cross. I need to go to the right foothold to get more reach later in the climb. While Mats isn't that dependent on the reach because he has a bit longer body. So he can just balance his way over and reach this while I need those extra few centimeters to get in control. And because Mats is also able to reach that hold on the orange part of the wall, he gets in a more stable position while I have to kind of jump and trust that I will be able to grab it. Here, on this part of the wall, I am having my right hand on top while Mats is having his left. And the way he does it looks much better than what I do with this cross and bump. So if I had to choose, I would go the way that Mats does it, but that's not that easy for me. And this is a really hard V4 boulder, I think. It's a slab wall with some really funky and both cool moves. I really like the start, for instance. Uh, the start I have been working a lot on, so that part is going really good at this moment. But the start is a part where many people are having a hard time. Uh, but I really enjoy that part. So this next part is where the trouble begins for me. And I really, really hate this kind of climbing with all of my fibers in the body. And here, yeah, I'm just happy that I don't die from these movements. 
and it feels so risky and so uncontrolled because of the footholds that are really bad and you really have to trust your feet to be able to do the last part. While Mats, which uh, is a longer dude, he was mainly struggling with the start. As you maybe remember, this is the first time he is ever trying it. So he had a few attempts before he was able to nail the start as well. But when he did, this part from here and to the top wasn't that complicated for him. It's this move that is hard for him. And then he can reach up to the orange part of the wall. Those are super crimpy but still good. And he can just reach the next without having to move his feet. And an elegant bump to the next one which made, which make him stand in a really good way with his hands. And he does the end moves in a much better way than I did. So I think this boulder really shows the difference in our climbing style and our possibilities. Uh, so that was really cool to get on tape. Boulder number five is also a powerful climb on an overhanging wall. And here I think the main difference is, is again how we use our feet. I use heel hooks almost in every moves uh, and I got my feet loose in the beginning on the first jump while Mats again can find a stable position without worrying too much about heel hooking or uh, getting in control in that way. And the top hold is also a tricky one for me. The first times I tried it I did it like Mats uh, did it here but I was not able to get around and get a good grip so after around two or three failing attempts i decided to try to reach the edge of the hold and that was much better but it is a powerful move and you have to really try hard to get to the top of the boulder and that is very cool i hope you had fun watching this kind of nerdy analytic climbing video from me. I had a lot of fun working on it and trying to see how we solve the boulders in different ways. I think the main difference is how we use our feet and that a shorter person have to jump a little bit more or be able to control that the feet are getting off the wall while a taller climber has to struggle a little bit more on moving on kind of balancey uh, boulders like the slab from before. So that was a really fun experience to climb with Mats and try to find boulders that could demonstrate the differences that we experienced due to our height. So thank you for watching the entire video and sticking to the end. And I am already ready to edit my next video. So I hope you will come back to my channel and check that one out as well. Have a super nice week.